Hi, I'm Helen Marshall. I'm the founder of the Green Free Food Range, Primal Alternative. I'm also a primal health coach and I make Green Free easy. And in this video, I'm going to tell you the eight key concepts of a primal lifestyle because I reckon it just really helps to understand the theory behind the inspired action that you're going to take around food, movement, mindset, and lifestyle. But I also think it's really important to take a moment to reflect on why you're thinking of mixing up your diet and lifestyle and really take in a moment to check in and reflect on where you are right now and how you're feeling. So let's do it. Let's have a look at your goals, affirmations, and your why. Don't worry, this won't take long. So grab a pen and pencil. No, a pen and piece of paper. So with your pen and piece of paper, I'd like you to make a list of how you're feeling today. I want you to put down all of it. So mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, and mentally. And press pause, scribble it down. And then I want you just to take a moment to look at this list, but then hide it. And I want you to write down how you want to feel. So when you're writing down how you want to feel, um, my 25 years in the fitness industry has taught me that most women would say that they want to lose weight and turn up. So that's always um, something that women want to do. Um, and that's fine if those are your goals, but instead of wanting to, we, we, I want you to set goals that you're moving towards instead of moving away from. So if you want to lose weight, I want you to have a feeling, look a bit deeper. Why do you want to lose weight? Is it so that you're going to feel more energized, feel more sexy, keep up with the kids? And all of those reasons are really good, positive mindset goals to move towards as opposed to losing weight. Do you know what I mean? And I'm focusing on losing weight. That's just an example. So write down how you want more, what, what feelings you want more of. So some examples that I've seen um, as a coach include things like, I want to feel more connected. I want to feel more in control. I want to feel clearer. I want to feel lighter. I want to feel brighter. I want to feel more energized. I want to feel more bliss, more joy, more love, those sorts of things. So press pause and write down how you want to feel. And then from there, you can create an affirmation and this alone will be extremely transformative. So you can create your affirmation, something like, you know, it could be something like, I'm now energized, clearer, lighter and brighter, or my health improves every day. Or my favorite affirmation is, I now create the life I want in an easy and relaxed manner and in a healthy and positive way. I stole that one from Mark Allen. It's a very good one. Um, another really good one is I am enough. That's a big one. So create your affirmation, whatever it is for you. It doesn't, you know, you, you don't need to think, oh, it's not good enough because whatever it is, it's right. It's good. It's fine. And then put your hand on your heart and repeat it. And then stick your affirmation somewhere where you're going to see it lots. So I like it on the fridge is a good spot. Uh, somewhere where you brush your teeth is a good spot a screensaver, having, um, having it as a password on your login details, screensaver on your phone, somewhere where you're going to see, see it lots. Put it um, in lipstick on your mirror. All right, so now we're going to talk about primal living and why this is the easiest biohacks to get to the, that feeling state that you desire. So there's eight uh, key concepts of a primal lifestyle. I'm going to talk you through them right now. So you can reset your genes. Like, holy moly, are you serious? So, okay, this is some fixed heritable traits like the size of your nose, the color of your hair, the size of your feet, right? No matter what food you eat or how you live your lifestyle, you're not going to affect those at all. But genes turn off second to second, moment to moment, and they're sending information. They're like little messages throughout your whole body and that is determined the messages that they send are determined by epigenetics now without getting too scientific epigenetics just means above the gene and the things that are above the gene include your surroundings your environmental surroundings um, the food that you eat the kind of way that you move your body the way that you sleep how much sun you get 
all those things, everything to do with what you eat and how you live your life. The clues to optimal gene expression. So that's like the best gene expression. So the best way that your body can operate at its optimal state are found in evolution. And that's why the primal bit comes in or the um, ancestral bit or the paleo bit. And it's nothing about trying to be a hunter gatherer and wear a long cloth. It, not at all. It's just simply referring back to a, a time when humans were fit, lean, healthy, and they weren't dying of chronic illness. Whereas we are today, we are the sickest, fattest, most depressed we've ever been. Something has gone incredibly wrong. Um, but that's okay. Uh, and we can do something about it. We can reset our genes. We can get back to the foods um, and lifestyles that we, that we thrive on as a species. Now, the 2 million years of selection pressure and harsh environmental circumstances created this perfect genetic recipe for human health and longevity. And your genes expect you to be lean, fit, healthy, and happy. And we can do that by getting back to um, eating the plants and animals. So meat, fish, fowl, eggs, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, fats, and oils, and moving frequently with a slow pace. Look, we'll get to those bits later. <laughs> Your body wants to burn fat, not sugar. Now, the conventional Western diet is grain-based and low fat. So you have been stuck in a sugar and carbohydrate-based metabolism for your entire life. Now, grow, going primal shifts you from that sugar burning. Just think roller coaster. Think ups and downs, peaks and troughs. You have that cereal for breakfast. That you have a lot of sugar in your blood. You create an insulin response. The insulin shuts off your fat stores. You cannot burn fat when insulin is in the body. And then the insulin gets rid of all of the sugar and then your body thinks you're starving. So it sends you out looking for food. It's not your fault. It doesn't mean you've got no willpower. Your body has got a strong survival response and it's telling you to get out and to get more sugar. And it's just like this sugar roller coaster. That once you're in it, you know what it's like. You feel hungry. You shout at the kids. You can't go out of the house without a banana and a bottle of water in your bag because you get hungry, right? And switch into a fat burning metabolism. Um, just basically means that you are completely liberated from being obsessed about food. You can go for long periods of time without being hungry. You have evened out energy, which equals evened out mood. Get off the roller coaster, sister, and burn fat, not sugar. 80% of your body composition is determined by what you eat. Hoorah! How good to think that because we've been told, haven't we, that you can burn off a bad day in the gym burning off calories in the gym. Well, that doesn't work. So when you moderate your insulin production by ditching grains, sugars, and legumes, and lowering inflammation by eliminating harmful man-made industrial seed oils, that is going to promote an efficient reduction of any excess body fat. Um, it's going to mean that you can maintain your ideal body composition effortlessly. You're going to have more energy. You're going to have less illness. And you're going to have better hormone response. So like with your stress, appetite, immune, uh, metabolic uh, system, your sleep, your thyroid, everything is going to work more optimally. Grains are totally unnecessary. Now, this is a hard one to get your head around because we've all been told that we need to eat lots of grains for roughage and um, all of the different nutrients that are in them. But actually... Um, eating grains promotes fat storage because it raises your insulin and it contains anti-nutrients. Then that promotes inflammation, gives you digestive issues and interferes with your immune system. So you'll know if you've eaten grains, you get that bloaty feeling, you're getting cold all the time, you get sick all the time. These are all signs of inflammation. Now, um, there's no good reason to, to make grains or legumes part of your diet um, unless you want a cheap source of calories that easily converts to sugar because all of the nutrients that you can find in grains, you can find in vegetables and fruit. So grains are totally unnecessary. Au revoir. Fat and cholesterol are your friends. Now, this is a bit of a, um, a funny one as well because we've been told for decades now 
that heart disease, you're going to get heart disease if you eat fat, you're going to clog your arteries with all that saturated fat. Well, that's actually only true if you eat fat with sugar and refined carbs. Cholesterol is actually one of the body's most vital molecules. And actually, saturated fat is our preferred fuel. The true heart disease risk factors are oxidation and inflammation. And they are driven really strongly by a standard Western diet that's full of polyunsaturated fats, you know, like your canola oil, seed oils, grapeseed oils, that kind of thing. Simple sugars, your cane sugar, fizzy drinks, um, and all of your breads, pastas, um, that kind of thing. Um, excess insulin production from all of the sugars and stress because we live crazy, crazy stressful lives, right? But when you limit carbs and you eat more high quality fats, so we're talking about nuts, seeds, avocados, animal fat, butter, if you can tolerate dairy. Um, and that can really help to promote a healthy weight management and re reduce the risk of heart disease. Say what? Exercise is ineffective for weight management. This was a mega one for me to come to terms with because I've worked out at the gym for 25 years and I really believed that if I stopped doing it, I would balloon and turn into a big fat pig and uh, I didn't. Um, and it's, <laughs> it's ineffective for weight management. It's actually a big relief because chances are you're probably already doing enough and the movement, I actually prefer to say movement instead of exercise, the movements you want to be creating in your life are ones that want to be chilling out your nervous system and not putting it under a lot of pressure like chronic cardio does. And when I say chronic cardio, what I mean is smashing the gym too hard, too long, too often. So burning calories through exercise has got little influence on your ability to achieve and maintain an ideal body composition. And when you depend on carbs, so that's glucose, right, in the blood, as your primary fuel, guess what happens? Exercising actually makes you more hungry. And if you, um, yeah, and also that exercising too much really bre can break down lean muscle mass, lean, lean muscle mass, put your teeth back in, and it can lead to fatigue, injury, and burnout. Anyone relate to that? I know I can. And the final one, maximum fitness can be achieved in minimal time. So we're looking at regular, brief, intense strength training sessions and um, occasional all-out sprints. They promote gene expression and a broad athletic um, competency across everything. Um, and you can enjoy more of the benefits of feeling healthy and vibrant and strong in a fraction of the time. I know when I used to go to the gym, it took a whole morning driving there doing the class, having a shower. You, who's got time for that? Not me, not at all. And I also think that um, moving our body, it's not just, you know, we've always just thought about it in terms of losing weight or toning up, but actually moving our body. We need to move our body to move through emotions, to relieve stiffness, to change the energy in our body. It's, like, it's, it's a whole different, you know, lots of different parallels in there. So if that all sounds, wow, amazing and wow, radical and whew, a bit dangerous, oh, dangerous real food, then check out some things that you can do right now to take inspired action on the um, key concepts of a primal lifestyle. Because that's the thing, right? It's one thing knowing it. Knowledge is power, but you get action when you get traction when you take action. So food, eliminate grains and sugar. These are the foods that promote weight gain and chronic health problems, which we have explained to you why. And you may also choose to eliminate legumes, dairy, and alcohol. So these are the foods to choose from. Meat, fish, fowl eggs, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, fats, and oils. You'll be able to rattle that off, right? When you've lived this way for a while. But when I when people ask me, what do I eat? I just say, look, I just eat meat and veg. It's the easiest way to say it. And trust me when I say that you can recreate all of your family favorite meals from meat, fish, fowl, eggs, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, fats, and oils. So this way of living is um, we're getting away from that deprivation. We're getting away from the guilt. We're getting away from the overwhelm. Um, we honor hunger. So guess what? When you're hungry, you eat. And you eat until you've had enough. You're resetting your metabolism. So initially, you're going to be more hungry to start with. 
transferring from a sugar burner to a fat burner can be a big process. Um, can take from like three weeks up to a couple of months. Um, so you need to really honor hunger and give your body good nutrient dense food to help with the transition. And eating mindfully. So guess what that means? I see it everywhere. People eating their lunch and they're on their phone. And you know what? Your, your body doesn't even realize you're eating. You, you need to really make it a full body experience. Um, and it's a beautiful. Eating is an amazing, wonderful daily experience. So make the most of it. Switch off everything. No toys at the table. Sit at the table or take your food outside in the sunshine. Put your feet on the ground and eat your food and really smell it. Chew it. I know, radical. Chew your food and really enjoy what you're eating because that will really help you uh, get back in touch with your satiety signals. That that means when you've had enough to eat because we are all out of um, all out of touch with that. And also to help regulate your uh, hormone leptin, which is the the hunger is the satiety hormone. That's the one that tells you, hey, we've had enough. We're full. Stop eating because a lot of us switched off from that, and that's not your fault. That's just the way that we've we've eaten and how we've screwed ourselves over, basically. So this um, eating this way, living this way, isn't just about you. And it's really cool to do a big zoom out and look at the whole global sustainability um, aspect of this because when you eat this way, you're sourcing the highest quality cuts of grass-fed meat. So you're eating animals that have lived their natural life as well, um, that have you know been free to roam and eating grass and being outside, not factory farming. That is so not in line with primal lifestyle. Or you're sourcing wild caught fish. Maybe you get the fishing rod dusted off, go and catch some fish for dinner. Um, and you're eating local in season, spray free or organic fruits and vegetables. So when you support, like it's such a grassroots change, you can vote with your dollar. You have immense power with your with your dollar. And if you choose to buy from the local farmer or the local farmers markets as opposed to the big supermarkets, you're doing a lot for your local community and sustainability in general. Movement. So we're going to have some, we, we go for a go with a flow intuitive workout. What the hell does that mean? Well, it means moving frequently at a slow pace. So if you're at a desk all day, make time to get up and move around in between, um, in between various parts of your day or go for walks, ride your bike, those sorts of things. Lifting heavy things. So by that, I mean like you, your kids, your shopping bags, the laundry basket, um, you can do a primal essential movements workout. You'll be able to find one of those on my blog, or you could do something like yoga, which is incredible because you get all of the benefits of lifting, but you also get the calmness on the nervous system and stress is like the biggest thing. So when you're looking at where to start, start with food. That's the biggest hack with the quickest transformation and then work on stress. Everyone thinks I need to exercise. No, no, no. Work on stress. And sprinting once in a while. So that's literally heading down to the beach, running as fast as you can for 15 seconds and doing it four times. It's fun. All right, so lifestyle, we are going to get some sunshine. We are going to get some good sleep. So um, a good thing to do with sleep is to have a wind down ritual. So two hours before you go to bed, detox from your digital devices relax. If you're watching a movie, give yourself to the movie. Don't Facebook and do the movie. Get some amber lights. If you're sitting under bright white lights, switch them over to amber. And then in the morning, nobody really talks about getting sleep in the morning. What you want to be doing is going out and getting some sunlight on your face because that will set your circadian rhythm with the blue lights. So it means 12 hours from then you'll start to feel sleepy. Getting out in nature, our genes expect to hear the rustle of the trees. Uh, we're energetic beings. We need to ground with our feet on the earth. Um, but we live most of our lives inside little boxes. Nurturing ourselves, taking time to play, having a dance, tickling the kids, catching a ball, bouncing on the tramp, and reducing stress and just slowing things down. And connecting in real life. Like, this is an incredible time of uh, technology. I wouldn't be able to be talking to you and bringing this message to you without this incredible technology. But we really need to make sure we're connecting in real life as well. We are social animals. Um, and, and I also mean connecting with the world, the planet. You are one. We're all connected. 
So mindset wise, this is 10% strategy and 90% mindset for sure. So find your tribe, find a group sisterhood energy that can be your community for this kind of transformation. I have my own group on Facebook. It's called Primal Alternative Community. You can come and hang out in there um, to get support and accountability. Oh, accountability. Um, living this way is a virtuous circle because I tell you what, when you get up in the morning and you honor your body with some a couple of beautiful pastured eggs, some spinach, some sauerkraut, and a lovely, you know, organic decaffeinated coffee you feel incredible. And then that makes you think, you know what, this day is off to such a good start. I'm going to go for that walk. I'm going to do that meditation. I'm going to ring my best friend and see if she wants to go for a coffee. It sort of all leads in. And on the mornings when you think, I do not want to do that today, that's the day you really need to do it. And whenever you're, you have a little wobble, go back to your why. Why did you start to do this? How were you feeling? How do you want to feel more of? What's your affirmation? Come back to that. Living this way will increase your resilience. So you get to handle life with more grace and ease. Like life's life, right? Ups and downs, ebbs and flows. That's how it is. You're still going to feel your whole range of emotions, but you'll be able to control more how you act, how you react. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this short video about um, the key concepts of a primal lifestyle. It's how I live my life. I've lived my life like this for the last four years and I've um, experienced incredible transform transformation and I'm completely compelled to inspire other people to do the same. I do that with my, um, the, my easiest way to work with me is my Thrive 21 Day Clean uh, Living Journey, uh, which is at, available at Primal Alternative dot com forward slash thrive so i really hope that you've enjoyed this today please feel free to reach out to me all the best love h